This short's going to be especially helpful if you're new to Python and learning how to return values from functions. So say for example we have a function called my function. this returns a single value, in this case 1. We could easily use this by saying x, which is my variable, is equal to my function, make sure I call it, and then running it, printing x, we can see we get a value of 1. But what happens if we come to our return statement and do something like this? So rather than just saying return 1, we return 1, 2. Let's find out. And then doing this, we can see 1, 2 here. Now, if you were to inspect this using the type function, so if I pass in x to type, we see this actually gives back a tuple. But a really cool mechanism we can do with Python is something called unpacking. So rather than just saying print x, let's go ahead and say x, y is equal to my function. That now means that because this is returning a sequence of size 2, those two values are passed to x and y respectively. So that means that running it, we get 1, 2 down here. So x is 1, y is 2. Let's go ahead and try a third value. And just before we run it, you can see in this case here, it says too many values to unpack. So let's go ahead and do a z here. And then inside our print statement, we'll go ahead and use that as well. And there we go, we get 1, 2, 3. One neat little trick you can do is something actually a bit like this. So if I just take off the Z here and do an asterisk, let's go ahead and see what happens this time. And even though we only have two items here, because there's an asterisk before the Y, this is basically saying give the first thing to X, but then give the rest of them to Y as a list. That's why we see X as 1, and then 2 and 3, that's our list here. So if we were to go ahead and do a load more items, doesn't matter how many there are, it's absolutely fine. X will still take the first one, and then our asterisk Y, that's going to take the rest of my items as a list.